Hello folks, and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are in the third week of March, and yeah, it's just gone dinner time. We have been a little bit busy, so in the last episode, if you haven't watched it, please do. We've come the Apple King as sort of the random title one named episode. So yeah, we got Apple Orchards in, we got 15 Apple Orchards I think it was. We've got 5 new greenhouses in, hydroponic ones, so we're going to have a lot, I mean a lot of stuff coming out. The apples, when they start popping up, I pretty much sell them at any time. And I think, first of all, that's going to be the exact plan for us, is to sell them as typically when we start planting, we are already crushed in stuff. But yeah, so... Yeah, that's going to be interesting. We need the money at the moment. Currently, we're getting about 70 quid per hour. That is just from our businesses of the campsites as being a 50-50 owner. Was it 50-50? I don't know, I think it's a majority stick ownership. Basically, someone runs it on the DC business, we're just the ownership. We provide finances. If things go wrong with the campsite, then obviously we are as the like, investor and are the main owner. That's where we stand in, but at the moment, getting decent income for that, which is needed since we're at minus 439 quid. I think towards the end of the last episode, it was like something like minus 700 quid. But yes, yeah, so if we have a little stop here. Also, we've been seeding, so to recap, 55, 53 are barley to match the 52. That's going to be ready first. Then there'll be the wheat, then there'll be these barley and rye. So if we have to cut the crop candor of the wheat, we plan to that in November. So that should be ready around August time, I think. What was it mid? Yeah, August for the wheat. First bit of barley will be in July. But this barley that we're just planting in now, we're looking at perhaps September. The oats that was already there, that's going to be ready in July. And also we planted the rye now. So I'm thinking that's going to be maybe August or September. And uh, we're currently planning the sugar beet in. And that'll be ready for October. So basically, between July and October, we're going to have a lot of work to do. And yeah, I'm actually quite excited for it. Obviously, in June, we're going to be finally sending those in. See, that's going to be a couple of episodes down the road. But yeah, so... What we need to do now is finishing off the planting here. Then we need to start rolling. And also the main goal in this episode is going to be about the TMR situation. Yes, we've got plenty of TMR for now. We don't really need TMR at this time. However, it still be worth getting a bunch of it in now. Also be interested to see if we can put it into the main site at the farm. Or you have to put the TMR into the little farm silo uh, by basically where we started this series on that little yard area, opposite of the green mill by the home farm area up there. Hopefully, you don't need to, if you can just whack them in the silo at the main farm at Court Farm Country Park. However, I am not sure now. I've also been finding, going on this top down view. It's not just good for time lapses, it's actually good for us in general. Even though they have to be immersive in cab and that, it's just... For the sake of like, videos and that, eh, yes, yeah, so that's the problem there. Oof, hopefully we've got everything there. Now we're going off skew, so let's go and correct that. But yeah, so anyways, let's get this all done. Start off with a little quick time lapse. And then I think we'll start dealing with the TMR thing because we yeah, got a bit of time to deal with the rolling situation so yeah, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I'll get all done and I'll see you folks in a few moments. <laughs>
go, so we are finally done with all the seeding and planting. And yeah, let's just quickly show that pretty much how we're storing our equipment, so let the lights on, turn those off, so yeah. This is where we're keeping our tractors at the moment, so we've got two John Deere's the fence, and the Massey is at the farm with the mixer already all hooked up. Over here, this is where we're keeping our combine, and this is where we're keeping our cultivator. Our main equipment are stored in the shed here, but I need to remember for access, so got a baker, access there, and then we've got the mowers hooked up here or so, just in case I'll drive it out, turn around, and whatnot to get all hooked up. And uh, yeah, the tether, we're on the site at the moment. It is around there. We'll keep it until April, but if we don't get any contracts in April, then yeah, we we'll really need to consider about returning that. So I think we already paid £500 towards the down payment for the first week. And obviously, for the rest of the month, it's going to be another 1500 quid, about two grand per month. So yeah, we need to get some money coming in, sharpish to pay that off. Even if we don't use it, buy them having it at the moment as a demo so yeah oops very good steering but yeah so we're going out to the farm now because I want to get some mixing done so we're going to mix ourselves with some straw we empty the straw into the farm silo next to a brain mill and yeah I'm thinking perhaps we won't Store in the silo. And yes, that would be the case, which I think so. Mm. I was thinking if one of those bunk silos were empty, particularly the close one, then yeah, we can just store the TMR there, dump it in there, and scoop it out whenever we need it. That's what I think we'll do, but I think that's going to be a bit challenging, so. On the farm at the moment is just really our trailers now, which we'll, we'll get moving down at some point if we need to. So yeah, if we pull over here for a moment, go to here, we've got 4,000 litres of straw. Technically we don't need straw, you can just do a hay and silage mixture. But straw is always good, just act as a Basically, it's pad it out, so I think really you should be using the wheel loader. Because, yeah, this is only a dinky amount. So, you know what? We'll get the wheel loader for the silage. But we can use this to grab and control the bells, so. Turn that off. So, we need some hay bells, so. I think if we grab a bunch of them, there we go, just pull these out. I think if we start off with just three bells, plus he has 16,000 litres each. There we go. just to control how much hay we're putting in that. So at the moment we got the most abundant is silage so that's 30,000 litres so grab this hay belt. There we go. Yeah, just shove them over here. So yeah, 25% of 30,000 litre is what? 7,500 litre. So really, we want just shy off half of this going in. And dang it, couldn't access it. Hey, when it does that sometimes. So anyways, we'll start putting some of this in. And hopefully we can control how much it's going in. So yeah, 
5,000 years we left, or 8,500 years. I'll say, we're it for now. Let's, let's grab the wheel looter. And that's in here. That's in the way. Hopefully we can just pass. That's yeah, off. Yeah, well, there we go, shut it down. So in theory, this hole's what, 6,000 years, 8,000 years? Yeah, 6,200 years, so... We just go and whack that in. There we go. And it's definitely, it's definitely two scoops. I think if we do two scoops of silage, Actually, if we do three scoops, that is what, 18,000 years. Then we'll just put the hay in. If it was just a hay and silage mixture, that'd be perfect. Give or take. We need to grab one more. And then we'll just have a little quick look on how this is all going to work out. There we go. Actually, you know what? Bear with me a sec. Then we'll grab a fun note here. And then we'll start having a look at the TMR. So, yeah, with the thumbnail sorted in some way, you got to figure out actually which food would be the best for the thumbnail. But that's for a future farmer envoy to worry about. So yeah, we go into the train now. We turn our field info on. Ooh, okay, so we do need a little bit more hay as I suspected. No problem. I see that, no problem. Actually, what the heck, just shove that bell in there. There we go. So yeah, now look at that, that is perfect. Actually, it's not 25% is the minimum for the hay. It's what, 22.5%? And then 77.5%, I don't know, for silage. But, anywho, that is our first mixture done. So, I think for now, what I'm going to do is simply dump it on the ground. Thinking somewhere here, so tips like left. So yeah, this is going to be a dumping ground for now. Just so keep on and make sure now. Make sure to get to the point where we're going to have too much grass in. Or hay, whatever. Oh, stopped. Ah, that's going to be a problem then if it ain't done that. It's just rampantly fill it up to the max. Or fill this area up, so... Go. Alright, so yeah, that took all of it. So, yeah, at some points it was more of a hay rich mixed portion, which perhaps is not the most ideal, maybe, I don't know. But it simply does the job for now, so. But if we can say, I don't know, grab this. Putting ourselves. There we go. So let's say, yep, yeah, that's enough. If we can do that, then we can actually scrap some straw bells as well. Ooh, perfect. Straw, come here. Basically, this is just to pad it out and that. Under, stop seeing my bales. There we go. So, what's that, 18,000 a year or so? About 3,000 years or so? Really, you should be using as much of the straw as possible, so 
what's that about 30 percent so a third of 30,000 is 10,000 a year so about yeah I think if you start with a stroll do about 8,000 a year so it's really good to be using the stroll more that's the aim is Yeah, right, know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stop that there. Forget about you. And then just start grabbing signage. So, then we quickly get this one here filled up off camera a sec. There we go, that's worked out well. So, did need to add a little bit more hay. About another few thousand litres or so. I think, yeah, if we try to stick to. 25% hay, 20% straw, and the rest silage, or half silage, so that'll be 6, 12, two and a half loads, and then split it between the hay and straw, so yeah, quarter is 15, 7,500 litres, and 20% is 6,000 litres, so 6,000 years of straw, let's say 6,000 years of straw, 8,000 years of hay, and the rest is just silage. If we can keep that mixture up, I think, yeah, it's the best. We'll try to use more straw, because hay is what we've got least at the moment. Yeah, we've got 140,000 years down at the farm, or Stingbridge Farm, but yeah. Obviously, this is going to be a problem, and I think it's already coming a problem. Fun, to be honest. Yeah, because always just cart it down and feed it to the animals straight away. Which, in hindsight, probably the best thing to do, actually. But, you know what, here, okay, we'll just do it this way. See how it goes, see how it works out. Obviously, it's going to be dirty food for the cows. How do I feel about that? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, it's just pretty much my response. And yep, yeah. not say about having issues. We've already hit those issues, so I think you know what. For the next match, we'll do, which will be in the form of a time lapse. I think just simply cart it down to the cows at Bridge Farm. I think that's perhaps the best thing to do. That's, yeah, don't have to deal with this. <laughs> well, yeah, so anyway, so that's how a little fun of doing this in the time lapse. See how it goes, and I'll see you folks afterwards. <laughs>
um, with the TMR making for now. So basically, what I've done off camera was just continue on with the TMR making after the time lapse. And pretty much use all the hay that was there at the main farm. Obviously, we've still got 144,000 a year or so. In theory, was I using about 20% of the hay for a TMR mixture? So, in theory, that is another 700,000 years potentially we can have. But anyways, we're going to be overloading this. Because if you have a look, already we've got 350,000 years. Plus another 30, that is 386,000 litres. Now is the task of the rolling. However, there are some things we need to take care of urgently. For one is the money situation. It's like, okay, alright, we're struggling, semi struggling at the moment. But really, we shouldn't be struggling, and we got a lot of signage now at the farm. And I was thinking, you know what? Heck it, let's just sell some of it. Let's say, get the, well, sell this, get about 15 grand or so. Or, just have a bit of that boost, in case we do need to leave stuff, like a wind rover and that, or whatever, before we sell the lint seed in that in June. We'll get the massive Trans 70 trader. That holds 70,000 litres of stuff. And yeah, I'm thinking, just use that instead. So, I think at the moment that is in what was the main storage barn before. I think, first of all, what we'll do, since we're going to be on route anyways to it, by just popping it in the air. Okay, that was a really perfect target. I just so you didn't drop that, but... I was thinking, when I'd use this off camera, I'd use it first time, you know, just about to sweep it in. Or sometimes I have to stop and just sort of slightly readjust myself. But anyways, so not that bell here. I'm going to use this bell here, so... So i chuck that in. Like so. Uh, give the cow some straw. Yeah, that's good to assume. And um, we'll just leave that there for the time being. See how got silage, how much they've got left. Well, 3,000 litres of manure, we know. Alright, let's go into the menus. Animals, have a quick day check. Sheep, alright. Chickens, all good. 45,000 litres left, so. Yeah, it's going to be a bit longer, unfortunately. I think, in theory, or re in reality, not in theory, in farm theory. <laughs> oh, that'd be a good idea, farm theory. Oh, no, no, right. Back to what I was on about. What I was on about? Oh, yeah, the cow. So, I know Farm Cop recently did a video on cows and that, saying stop using. Basic farmer was stop using TMR, use silage basically. Haven't watched it, but thinking about it, it makes sense. Because the cows are getting their 90% efficiency. Depends on the map, and depends on what cow barn you use though. Because not all cow barns and all maps with cows are the same. But yeah, in theory. Sorry, I can't get through there. But yeah, if we're getting 90% efficiency, okay, we're losing a slight little, little bit of efficiency. But, in reality, we can just use silage. It's quick, it's easy. And in reality, it is. It's very piss easy to do, so. Why we sign like we did making TMR? When in reality, all we really need is simply some silage fields, some grass not silage fields, some grass fields, and then use that to get silage. Feed that to the cows. Yeah, makes sense. I know some farms in the UK do give cows just silage pretty much, or silage with 
a little bit of additives of sort. But yeah, that does raise a good old question. Maybe once we've run out of silage and T TMR and all that good stuff, then yeah, perhaps have a little look at that. Maybe do it as a final year thing on the farm. But yeah, so anyways, let me quick get this seed emptied. And then we start filling up with silage. I was going to say TMR, but no, silage. If I can get out of here. So anyways, with all that sorted, we've got a tree here, all good. And yeah, made a little bit of a dent into here. And yeah, I think, yeah, just take it. Sell a bunch of those sites now, just a full 70,000 a year though, because there is a still good demand for them at the moment, even though we're in March, so... Mm, it sells Surrey as well. Get just over seven grand for that. About seven grand almost. And your yeah, three grand for that, so... Yeah, if you just did that alone, sell the milk, solve our issues, but I think yeah, for milk at the moment, we did sell one. Technically, still good now, but I'd rather wait till September, get a bit more milk in. Eggs, October, we've got about a thousand years at the moment. So, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, sorry, the job's it. <laughs> so, yeah, peak price February. 570. Gone a bit down now, so if we have a look here, it's around about the 510, 520 mark. But we have a look at the garden center bells. 552 long metal stores or bells, whatever. 543, Pine Creek, 537, Tall Trees, 541. So still decent demanding prices. So I think, yeah, get 70,000 a year, so we get about. What, 40 grand almost out of it? So yeah, I think we'll do that. But yeah, so anyways, let's quick get this done, take it to the store, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. There we go, 70,000 liters, about to be sold, only if he was in the right area. I'll go to here, thankfully. But yeah, so we should get about 40 grand or so out of this. Brains, there we go. And look at that money rocketing up. Now we're finally debt free, and that is good. Well, 3860, oh, close enough. And we'll take care of some things. Use market. Tempted. But nope. Nothing else in the use market. And yeah, that's pretty much the first thing I do. Get a bit of money. What's in the use market? But anyway, so we'll transfer money to the dealership. So. That got paid the two grand, no sorry, 1500 because we paid 500 or did we? Can't remember. We'll just pay the two grand anyway, so that'll cover us 
obviously from the 1st of March to the 1st of April. So basically, next week, we've got to give it back by the end of the day. But now we got ourselves a predicament to ensure everything's ready for what we said earlier on for about July, September, well, September, October, and all that weather stuff. To make sure it's all done. It doesn't have to be done today, we can go into April. That's the thing, if we go into April, it's not the end of the world. However, I've got a strong feeling come April, we're going to have a lot of contracts coming in. A lot of requests, a lot of demands from everywhere, from grass work mainly. Maybe even some seeding work, if we're lucky, stabbing the time. Especially with the fertilizer, very, very quick, easy, profitable jobs. They pop up if there is a demand for them in our PDA. We'll slap them up and we'll do them. But chances of that is varies. But yeah, we want to get it done this week in this but well, basic in-game day. But how we're doing this is a week, so we've got I don't know three now and about 5 p.m. 6 p.m. Let's say 6 7 p.m. at the latest. That's when it's going to be pitch black dark. And yeah, that's when pretty much we're going to have to call it a night. Unless we are able to work in the night. That depends on if we can see where we're actually going, where we've rolled, where we haven't rolled. And just all sorts of other things. But that's the dilemma. So, in theory, by the time we get back to the farm, that it's going to be about half nine, give or take. So, half nine to let's say half six. Make it easy. That is nine hours. Nine hours, so as we quickly pull over here to get all of these fields rolled. Don't have to worry about the wheat, that's all already been taken care of. But yeah, if we say needs rolled in, just to highlight our situation, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fields to roll. If I had to be picky, I'll say uh, the, 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 the sugar beet. Less priority. Fill beans. If we go into April, we may still be able to do the harvest in September. Because, yeah, October, we'll be having the sugar beet filled as well. But if we miss sugar beets in November. But, yeah, so priority is going to be the barley get the barley done and the rye and then if you've got time do the field beans and do the sugar beans I'll say what we'll do we harvest around the main farm first of all so 106, 107 54, 53 and 55 I mean, does 52 need rolled in? No, no, no. Four minutes said it needed rolled in. I say usually farmers are pretty good at rolled in around here. Every farmer does all their work now. Is does everything actually? Points it out now. So yeah, that's going to be the game. Next episode is get all that done, and then pretty much is contract work. Wait for contracts to come in. We may get some inquiries sometime this week, today, this in-game day. We've got our actual contract phone on us, so if we get any phone calls, we'll get the bell, arrange some stuff. Obviously, if a contract pops up anytime in the fourth week of March, we're going to take it on. Simply because we didn't have time. We've got eight hours, whatever it is I said, to get everything done. About nine hours, so... 
yeah, we're going to be inundated with work to do. But yeah, so yeah, prioritize Roy, Roy and Barty, Phil Beans, then the oh, Sugar Beans. So you know what? Screw it. Just got done that there, let that roll. And we'll get the roller where I've left that too. If I remember, we've left it in the field. Sushi cheese. Yep, there he is down here. Bombing it down the lanes. Obviously, the tractor is pretty worn. Maybe we need to grab the fence, but oh, we don't have time. So yeah, we'll get everything done. If I get actually hooked on. So yep, field roller, yes. Quick check, hooks, pins, all that good stuff, yep. Everything looks good. And yep, this is a barley field. Weeds are growing. That's going to be another thing as well, it's still the weeds. But obviously with that, we'll deal with them as and when they pop up. And we're going to get established anyway, so it's going to be a couple of months yet. Actually, yeah, it'll be around uh, about May time, I think. May, June time. And there we go, we are starting the rolling. And yeah, it's good. As you can tell from up here, this POV, you can tell the difference in the textures and that, so. Obviously, that has been rolled. That's been rolled where it's a bit more firm. Because, yeah, that was pretty silky smooth. That's been squished down, properly compacted, so it allows the seeds to grow properly. But even if we do get all the rolling done, that's fine, actually. Is it only, what, 2%, 2.5% yield bonus? Well, I'd rather have a late harvest and not have a 2% bonus because at the end of the day we are a farm business and we're still struggling yes we've got land, equipment, got everything on the farm but we've got that 1.335 million pounds to pay off and yep I want to get that done within the next 2-3 years of the farm Realistically, if we get it done in two years, if we do things properly, that's how lucky we get the contract work and all that. But, anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. So, next time, roll in, it's going to be the main task and contract work. So, yeah, in the next episode, we'll get all the rolling done, and then we'll go into April and hopefully we get contracts. If not, Guess that's us out of business because yeah, if they get working, there's no point being a contractor. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. Them. But for just do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all. Uh, very soon.